Come on. Legend, 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 legend. Whoa. Good. Hey guys, Ethan here with Standing Stone and we're back with Legend for his second day of formal woe training. We're gonna start this off with some fun bumpers, but I wanna show you we've got his um, collar around his neck and then we also have a collar around his belly that he's had a minute to kind of get used to. We're gonna check that tightness. Always double check your collars. Um, tightness is a very, very important thing. If they're not tight enough, they're not gonna be consistent and that's not gonna be beneficial. Now, I'm using DT Systems 1820. Uh, it has a toggle switch right on the front. That toggle switch makes it super, super easy to switch back and forth between collars, which is uh, very beneficial as we're utilizing both of them in this training session. So, fun bumpers to start off with. Good. We'll give him a long retrieve there. We're using vibrate on the way back. a boy. Good job. Good job. Good. Ah, no. Good. So now that we've got him moving, we're going to utilize a little bit of a refresher from yesterday. Now you saw we taught him yesterday's session or his first session that he can learn how to stop with that collar pressure around his belly. He feels that, it kind of tenses up the abdominal area and then his natural response is to stand still. We found that with him, it took a level of about two or three. So I'm gonna start on a two and then we're gonna work up and see if we need that same level today. We don't wanna automatically go to whatever that top level is that we used because the distraction level may be different and he may have a better response or a faster response because of last session. So, okay. Again, we want him to be moving. Come on. And then I'm gonna take this off so I can show you when I'm applying collar by lifting my hand up in the air. Good, come on. Collar's on. As soon as he stops moving, it shuts off. Now that's a level two today. Yesterday it took about a level three. Uh, uh, uh. Again, I came over to pet him. We got some movement last time. No movement that time. Good. Uh, uh, uh. This can be difficult to move all the way in to pet your dog and then walk away. They want to typically either move when you're coming close to them or move as you're walking away from them. Uh, uh, uh. You can still see he's trying to do it. He gets a little antsy with those back feet. Good. Okay, we can get him moving again. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, 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 hey. This is what this bumper can be utilized for. Hey, okay. We can get his feet moving again. If we can't keep him moving, we can't teach him how to stop when we're asking. Good. Hey, hey, hey. Good job. Good job. No. This is something that you can say, uh, you can take away from every training session. You need to evaluate what your dogs are doing. Um, and what he's been doing is playing a lot. He's nibbling at and fighting when I'm trying to grab this bumper off the ground. Ultimately, we'll teach him to retrieve the hand, but this is something I don't want him to continue to do. So I'm using that, ah, that little growly, no, and he leaves it be. So pay attention in your sessions. If you're seeing a habit form, you need to decide if that's something we need to correct and then figure out the best way to handle that. Good, all right, come on. Oh, okay. oh, good, 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 come on. Legend, 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 good job. We just wanna get him moving a little bit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and stop him. Good, that was again a level two on the collar. Second I hit uh, the button, I mean, he was already thrown on the brakes. It only took a split second to get him stopped. As soon as he stopped, we let go of the button. It's pretty safe to say now that he's got a good understanding that the collar around his belly means to stop. Now we're going to start to switch to the next step, and that's going to be to introduce the cue and then apply collar pressure so that he can learn to ultimately avoid collar pressure altogether by responding to the cue. Get him moving. Okay. 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 Whoop. Whoa. Good. So it was whoop, which is our warning. Then whoa, when I was applying collar pressure. So 
whoop, whoa, and then the collar. That's the sequence. He's hearing the cue, and then the collar comes. That's going to teach him, again, to avoid the collar by anticipating the collar's coming and stopping. Good. Okay. Okay, come on. We gotta keep his feet moving. Ready? Yeah, you want another one, don't you? Okay. Okay. Good job. This little pup is smart. He's really, really smart. So he's figured out that this game is. Ah, ah, ah. No. Good. This game is going to be stop and stand there. So the hardest part for us is, is to make sure that he understands what we're asking. Um, we need to be able to see him moving so that we can actively stop him. Good. Okay. 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 Come on. Come on. Legend. 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 Hi. 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 Yeah. Okay. 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 Good. Whoop. Whoa. Good. Okay. Get him moving again. Whoa. Good job. Okay. Keep moving your feet. Okay. It's safe to say that he understands that standing still is what this is all about. Good. Come on. 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 Legend. 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 Whoa. Good. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Teasing him a little bit. We'll throw in a fun bumper again here in just a minute. Whoa. Good. Good job. Okay. I want to see a little better movement so that we can truly see because he's wanting to stop. All right. He's wanting to stop right away. So I want to see a little better movement in a sense. Good. So that we can truly determine uh, uh, uh. here, here. Good. We can truly determine what he's responding to. No, no, no. Good. Good. Come on. Whoa. So there's no collar involved in that at all. He's got a pretty good understanding. He's got a pretty good understanding that uh, 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 when I'm saying, whoa, well, that means to stand there. And that goes with, we, we actually introduced that cue early with positive pigeons. Now we've taught him the belly color means to stop and stand there. And he understands that those two things combined means stand there. I think this is a great place to call this session. And then the next session with him, what we'll end up doing is actually making the transition from belly collar pressure to his neck pressure so that we can ultimately have a dog that's collar conditioned too well with the collar on his neck, just like everything else that we've taught him. We're gonna give him one more fun bumper to end this one here. Oh. Good job. Vibrate on his neck on the way back. Good. Good. No. Let me see if we can psych him out here and then last round. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Good. I think he's got this figured out. I think he's got this figured out. Okay. Good. Guys, thanks everybody for watching. This is the second step in our formal woe training process. And we'll be back shortly with step three to show you, uh, <coughs> excuse me to show you guys what that looks like to make the transition from his belly collar to his neck. We appreciate all of y'all for watching. And if this is your first time to the channel, guys, make sure and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. Thanks. Mm -hmm.